Hey guys, today I'm here to bring you my most anticipated movies of August. Now, before I get into August, I'm going to, I'm going to start doing this before every anticipated of each month. I'm just going to say my best of the previous month and my worst. So yeah, best without a doubt is definitely um, Mission Impossible 5. I freaking loved it. And yeah, I de technically this spoils you to my review, but yeah, I freaking love the Mission Impossible 5. My review for it will be up later, but yeah, it's the best of the month for sure. And then my least favorite of the month, of course, was Pixels. Just horrible comedy. Did not laugh at all. So yeah. Now let's get into the month of August. Now August does not look good. It, look, it looks pretty underwhelming with the exception of a few movies and there and then there are mo and there are movies I'm worried about movies I'm like eh about so yeah August looks boring slash not good with the exception of a couple movies first of all movies I'll watch on TV or Redbox uh Ricky and the Flash the new Meryl Streep movie I mean she's she'll probably get an Oscar nomination for this or a movie called Suffer Get that comes out in o October which I will talk about it then um, so yeah, and, but I feel like with the same problem with Southpaw, I've seen the whole movie in the trailer, so there's, I feel like I don't need to see the movie, but I probably will just to see, you know, Meryl Streep's performance. Um, another movie I'll, I might watch on blue, uh, TV or Redbox is the movie Learning to Drive, uh, with Ben Kingsley, he's like this cab driver and he's teaching this woman how to drive, older woman how to drive, eh, I'm just, it looks very underwhelming, but if it came on TV or Redbox, I might, I might watch it, and then another movie is Diary of a Teenage Girl, now this movie, it has like a 94% on Rotten Tomatoes, which is good, but I mean, I did see the trailer for it, it looks very artsy, it looks kind of, it looks like an art house movie, I don't know, I just, I don't think I'll be seeing it in theaters, but I'm not, but I, if, um, if it comes on Redbox or, uh, Netflix, I might watch it, so yeah. Now, my least anticipated movies of August. Now, there are a couple movies that I'm not really looking forward to that are on my most anticipating movie list, but I am, but in a way, I am anticipating them because, you know, I want to see how they're going to turn out. So, yeah, my only, the only movie I will not be seeing in August, the only movie I'm not looking forward to, is Sinister 2. First of all, I haven't seen the first Sinister. And second of all, I don't like horror movies. So, yeah, I'm not seeing, I'm not anticipating it, nor do I plan on seeing it. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, now, there are six movies that I'm anticipating, kind of. Some of them I'm kind of anticipating, some of them I'm anticipating, but I'm worried about, and then others I'm just really excited. First of all, number six is the new stoner comedy, American Ultra. I mean, this movie I will be seeing, but I don't know how to feel about it. I do like Jesse Eisenberg, and Kristen Stewart is, she, he can be a good actress outside of Twilight, but I feel like she's reverting back to her old ways in this movie because, you know, just look at the trailer. But yeah, but then again, it might work for this film because, like, her character is a stoner, so, yeah. So, American Ultra. Uh, yeah. And then, number five, Hitman Agent 47. Now, I have not seen the trailer for it, but everybody says, oh my god, that looks horrible. And in a way, I'm anticipating it because I want to see how bad it is because it pro it's an August movie and it probably will suck. So, but it could be, like, that movie... The Gunman that came out in August, uh, not August, uh, March, that's so bad it's good, like, hilariously bad, so, yeah. Number four, The Gift. Like, I had seen this trailer for the movie, for, or The Gift, so many times, I just didn't want to see it again. I didn't want to see the movie, but it has, currently has 100% on Rotten Tomatoes, and, yeah, so I decided, I'm, thinking it cut and it also comes out the same weekend as Fantastic Four so I'm like no I might as well see it number three is Fantastic Four I'm just I don't know I'm worried about this movie there's an I'm anticipating it because I want to see how it's going to turn out but I'm still worried about it I mean there's an embargo so we won't even be seeing reviews until like the day or the day before it comes out and that really worries me so I mean 
I'm anticipating it. I'm not, ex but I'm not excited to see it, but I am anticipating it because I need to know how it's going to turn out. And honestly, if Fantastic Four, if this movie does not work, they need to either try it as a TV show or just put it in the vault and maybe in 50, and maybe in 10, 20, 30 years, they'll try, they can try it again. But yeah, if it doesn't work this time, then they need to stop and try it as a TV show or put it away. Just, yeah. So yeah, my number two is The Man from UNCLE. I really wasn't anticipating this movie. I did knew I, know I was going to see it because, you know, it has Henry Cavill in it, and Henry Cavill is beautiful, and he's Superman. Um, yeah. And Henry Cavill, he is a really good actor. Like, I had, he, have you ever seen the show, The tu if you've seen the show The Tudors, which is by far my favorite historical drama of all time, you would know. He's really good in that. He has, like, a main part, and he's great. But, yeah, so Man from Uncle, I'm really looking forward to it. It looks like a fun spy movie. Hopefully it is good. My only problem is, my only thing I'm worried about is um, Army Hammer's Russian accent, because his, his character is playing Russian. I'm just like, wait, what? Why? So, like, that's the only thing I'm worried. So, yeah. And, of course, if you haven't guessed already, my no most anticipated movie – August is straight out of Compton. I just, I don't know. I heard people were talking about the movie, and then I saw the trailer, and it looked and it looked interesting. And yeah, I keep on seeing the trailer for it before movies, and it looks really good. And also has a 90% on Rotten Tomatoes so far, so that's a good sign. So yeah, those are my most anticipated movies of the month. So yeah, tell me what yours are, and also why I'm at it. I'm going to tell you. It's the also a new month, so I will tell, be telling you what Blu-rays and DVDs I got since I only got a couple this last month. I first of all, I did get this mini series called The Red Tent. I have seen it, but I wanted to see. I wanted to own it. I mean, I saw it and I had to own it. And yeah, um, I, it's a really good mini series. It's just like two episodes. I think it's about three to four hours total. It's really good. I enjoyed it, and also, of course, my my only Blu-ray a bit last month, Ex Machina, of course I had to get it, it's such a good movie, I love it, so yeah, those are my new DVD, my new DVD and Blu-ray I got, and those are my most anticipated movies of this month, so like I said before, tell me your most anticipated movie of this month, and your least anticipated, and I will see you guys in my next video, which will definitely be my Mission Impossible 5 review, alright, bye.